and my beautiful producer is laughing because I'm getting boobs. <laughs> anyway, we all get that. <laughs> Sun crying special, oh. it's all good. <laughs> oh, Sinto. Oh, uh, you know, well, we've all got boobs on this on this um panel here. Thank okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Yes, I think I ate too much as a child. <laughs> boobs now in my old age. Now speaking about unusual circumstances, mm. ladies. Yes. Are, you, are you right there? <laughs> um, oh God, this is controversy. Oh hello. Um, China, China's dwarf theme park draws a crowd and criticism. <gasps> all right. Bring it on. Bring it on. <coughs> so it's, it's called Little People Kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a theme park. Just kind of like, yeah, yes. Walt Disney kind of theme park. And it's in southwest of Yunnan province with 108 dwarfs working twice daily to perform for the tourists and the school Chinese children. Chinese dwarfs? Yeah. Yes. yes. And these are for 12 US dollars um, per... Ticket. Yeah, to yeah. watch the show, to yeah. go in. And there's a lot of criticism. Some are saying, like, you're exploiting on the little people. Yeah. On the Western. Mm -hmm. These are the kingdoms. Oh, that's really cute. Right. And But the dwarves themselves, they say it's really hard for them to get the get good pay kind of job. <laughs> yeah. If he works elsewhere, if there's there's no facilities like this or a yeah. theme park like this, he they will not get paid yeah, as much. Yeah, true, yeah. So... You know, some people say you treat them like a freak show, <laughs> but some not. for them it's oh, like, see, on also. Like, hey, you sure this is China? This is what they think. <laughs> they think is um, oh, so cute. They think is kind of devalued. The oh, dwarf, not at all. I guess. It's a, it's but a different way of exactly. looking at things. For it's Western. performances. <laughs> For Western people, they may feel that it's uh, <laughs> what the kids it love. Like, um, of course. You know, I remember as a kid going to see Snow Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, and the thing is that firstly, because kids can be quite evil, mm -hmm. we'd all look at them and think, "Oh, look at those really amazing people." And then as you and then you see them on the street, and you really appreciate them more, think, "Oh, they're really amazing." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, and these kids would look at these these uh, dwarf people and say, "Oh, look how amazing they are!" And they live there, you know, and they are amazing people. It's so mo it's more they difficult for them to find jobs, like, especially in China. Mm -hmm. exactly. So this this is a they good live way in to this so who's giving they do. Who, who's criticizing the situation? The, um, the general the, public. The 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 I guess the human rights group maybe NGO. Yeah, the NGOs. Are they are they, they say that we need to go and tell him or the owner of the yeah. park how to respect the disabled people. So is this an American body? No, this is the, the director Chinese of one. Beijing's One Plus One Cultural Exchange Center. Oh, well, I think the NGO it, focuses on helping disabled people yeah. in China. Well, I just think if, if these human rights people need, need to basically look at all the people being tortured in jail who are homosexual mm -hmm. and intellectual, let alone, that and these people that are actually having um, a good time and getting paid well for doing what they do, you know, like being dwarves. Mm -hmm. Well, let um, them decide. Yeah, let, it's, it's, it's their exactly. life. Exactly. Let and them also, decide what's good Yeah, exactly. Let them decide. And the thing is that they have to decide. They got their, they're doing their work. They're doing exactly. their job. They're entertainers. And it's an honest yeah. job. I mean, yeah. you've seen people, Hollywood, there's yeah. no different when you act exactly. as a bum or as True. a prostitute True. or as exactly. something else that devalues yourself. As, as I said last week on last week's program, mm -hmm. <laughs> is I basically was saying it's ironic around the world, especially in Asia, that people get in trouble for doing good things True. and then the things that really like these human rights people you know like they should Bashing really be looking at, at stuff at something. really serious or stuff. Or look you know in mean? different way there's always two sides to exactly. the two sides to the yeah, coins right, right? Yeah, exactly. so as long this is what i say as long as is keep them happy yeah. and is not torturing yeah. is not devalued their human rights or yeah. they don't feel like they don't feel devalued exactly yeah. then let it be and the kids loved it yeah it's not it's not like a freak show when yeah. you go in and you start pointing and laugh that's not, that doesn't look like it well the thing yeah, is that like know, in you know, other shows yeah. see a couple of uh, little people perform with the regular people yeah. and mm. then there will be the center of attention and center of joking yeah. that will be a little yeah. devalue yeah that would be but, different but in this day and age i mean i remember uh, about 15 years ago i worked with um uh, jim rose circus people from um i think from the west coast in america now they were classified as freaks because they used to like you know sort of hammer n nails in their nose right. and right. eat glass and whatever which I, I thought was really amazing stuff, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? See, but like, you know, even people saying, oh, like, you know, 
making the, these dwarf people like, you know, an Perform. exclusive thing is making them freaks, even them saying that, do you know what I mean? So these actual human rights people need to think about actually the way they're portraying. Mm -hmm. It's because why are they different to you and me? They're not different. Exactly. Just they're just costume. unique. Yeah, they're just yeah, exactly. dancing around, oh, you know. entertaining kids. Yeah. The kids love that. There's just so much more problems on the earth. And that's actually making people enjoy, you know, and I'm just that's like... That's what I thought. Yeah. The kids is harmless. Mm. Maybe anyway. we should uh, do some kind of tour trip or something and go... To go to you know? Well, we're, definitely, we're three freaks. We'll, <laughs> we can make some money. We'll scare them away, I guess. <laughs> I'm not wearing tutu. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying we have to wear it. Do we have you can to, be, we don't you have can go to wear nude. it. <laughs> you can go nude. Oh, oh well, anyway, scare Singto there. said if he come back from Australian trip and if he <laughs> happened to get a six oh. pack, he will be a strip naked on the show. <laughs> well, maybe say just that. A, you just said a that top part. Oh, just a top part. You said that two weeks please. ago. Oh, did I? Just a yes. top part, please. Okay, not well, I'm going to make sure I eat as thing. much as, as possible, have this big fat, even fatter pot belly. No, you won't do that. You, you love yourself won't. too much. Oh, I don't know about that. Look at me now. Old and haggard. All right, it's time to go. Have you some crap? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Ah! <laughs> 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 Have you some crap? Bye bye. Thank you.